have a file here on the Olympic trials. So My name is Daryl Martin. I'm a level five master uh, official with Swimming Canada. And then I have the honor this year of being nominated and accepted as the Canadian technical official who will be traveling to Paris in July for the Olympics. Wow, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. So um, you started here at the complex, yeah. uh, like you said. What is your road to the Olympics? Um, yeah, so my road probably has been as long as a lot of athletes who are out there as well. Um, we do a lot of training. We do a lot of um, evaluations and stuff as officials. I became a level five official back in 2010. Once I became that level five official, I kind of set my next goal, which was to get onto the international uh, list. And I was successful in doing that in 2016. Okay. Yeah. What have some of the highlights been um, at these meets you've been going to since getting these designations? So there have been a few, a lot actually. <laughs> Uh, I think one of my most favorite pictures though for me personally was in 2016 when my daughter was at Olympic trials. Um, I had friends in the stands who were there to cheer me on and cheer her on because as a referee on the pool deck there's a lot of stress to make sure everything goes well. Um, recently though um, Toronto has hosted the World Cup swimming in 2022 mm -hmm. and we had you know swimming uh, phenoms like Summer McIntosh who as a Canadian swimmer everyone knows Summer's name. Penny Alexiak and of course Katie Ledecky and um, at that event I was one of the referees and when those world records were being set and the world junior records were being set I even had the honor of signing off so that when those forms got submitted to the World Aquatics or the FINA at that time um, to be ratified as world records. Summer McIntosh officially it's a world junior record and then the American... So you signed off on that world record I did. for Very, Summer McIntosh. Yes. You know, wow. those world records, it seems like every time Summer gets into the pool, she's setting a new record. But honestly, um, that record that she broke in 2022 was set in 2016. So some of these world records stick around for a very long time. So the fact that, you know, to be that referee on the pool deck when something like that happens is pretty cool, pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. You, on the deck at least, will be the only Canadian official in Paris, yeah. um, how will that work? Like, how do you get to know the other officials, communicate with each other? I mean, clearly you're all from different countries. So the training has already started. We've already had Zoom meetings where we've gone over protocols and had videos and, and things like that. Um, once we get to Paris in uh, July, tw July 24th, then we've got two other training sessions before we start judging at the actual uh, games that start on the 27th um, and just to be on that international stage at that level yes. is and is you've amazing. watched these athletes grow up essentially too right? I have <laughs> I have you know some of them I remember them when they were little mm -hmm. and you know and some of them you know you've seen them I've seen them when they were in Abu Dhabi and stuff yes. like that and to celebrate with them quietly in my mind um, when they have their successes is so special to be able to do that Okay, there is some bling on that oh, hand is. of yours. Yes. Tell me about that. So I've been gifted the Olympic rings. Um, this was something that was generally only given to the coaches and the athletes when they were named to the Olympics. And this year, Swimming Canada recognized the officials who were going. So I was awarded my Olympic ring wow. um, at trials a few weeks ago in Toronto. Yeah, so pretty, sp I haven't taken it off. I was so. going to say, yeah, that's probably when you're going to be very careful about, yes. especially when you're traveling to Paris. Yes, so. Wonderful. Yeah. Have a wonderful Olympics. Maybe oh. we can chat with you after and, and get the report. That would be lovely. Yes, <laughs> looking forward to it. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thanks.